Kurt Vonnegut. My father was an architect, and it seems to me that I myself have designed a structure something like this. Except I've provided something that architects don't provide, which is a world behind each door. For me, Kurt Vonnegut was a gateway author. He bridged the gap between genre and literary fiction and was able to explore these complex sci-fi ideas eloquently and accessibly and even warmly. Despite the popularity of his work, there have been very few adaptations, most notably Slaughterhouse-Five and Breakfast of Champions from 1972 and 1999 respectively. Both of these would seem right at home as a miniseries in today's television landscape, but in 1991 an attempt was made to bring his stories to the small screen. On this episode of Media Loss, we'll be taking a look at Kurt Vonnegut's Monkey House. Now, this was a joint production between Canada, New Zealand, and the United States. Seven episodes were produced and aired on Showtime from 1991 to 1993. Familiar faces include John Cryer and Twin Peaks' Don S. Davis. Vonnegut had an affinity for television as a storytelling device and had even written for it in the early days of the medium. Here he acts as host and narrator. As this is an anthology series, each episode is based off a different story from his collection Welcome to the Monkey House, first published in 1968. To the production's credit, it is faithful to the time period in which the stories were written. It oozes 1940s and 50s nostalgia. The show features Vonnegut's signature dark humor, and perhaps that explains its short life. Out of the three episodes I watched, there was not one likable character. Morals are explored in such a way that, while interesting, do not exactly conform to what television was conveying at the time. The episode we're going to be taking a look at is Next Door, which is clearly channeling Home Alone. I mean, come on, look at this kid. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Paul Leonard, nine years old. Like all kids, Paul is searching for logic and order in a confused, chaotic universe. Amoeba grow and divide, their simple reproductive arrangements conducted in a sensible, dignified manner. If only the affairs of adult humans could be organized so gracefully. Mm, yummy. <laughs> you get away from the Melvin Leonard, we don't have time for oh, this. Honey, you said you wanted me to be more romantic. <laughs> well, I'm firing on all eight cylinders here. Cylinders, Mel? Mm -hmm. Cylinders? <laughs> Okay, cut it out, Mel. Come on. Sweetheart, it's the way you're dressed. It's making me warm. We'll lose our reservation. Warm. Just stop it, stop it. Paul, dinner! I made your favorite, honey. Meatloaf and green beans and mashed potatoes. Where is Rita? This is some terrific suit. Completely man-made fabric. Wrinkle-free, best darn thing. I know that, honey. I picked it out myself, but it doesn't go with that tie. Think so? Well, put on the blue stripe, then. The blue stripe at the Hacienda? I die. Hun, just wear that one. Those Hargers, at it again. There ought to be a law. Why don't you put a little more butter on those mashed potatoes, honey? Um. Oh, stop pestering the boy, Brenda. Melvin, stop eating his food. He's nine years old and he's got to learn to eat a square meal. Leonard Residence. Rita, what's keeping you, sweetie? You can't. Oh, honey, it's our 10th anniversary. We've got reservations. Oh, now, don't, don't upset yourself, Rita. It's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it next time. Okay. Bye. She's grounded. Again. I could just cry. No, no, don't turn on the waterworks. Because we're going out. Well, there must be someone else. I don't need a stupid sitter. Can it, Corporal? I'm thinking here. Hush up your father's thinking. That Rita, she just blabs on the telephone to her stupid boyfriend. Oh, Bronco. I can look after myself. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? I'm the only kid in my grade who still has a lousy uh, sitter. Uh, uh, Hush up, Paula. We don't like language. But they're always razzing me and teasing me about it. And calling me a sucky little baby. A baby? Well, I won't have that. You're really the only one? Okie dokie, soldier. Oh, Melvin, I don't know. Now, come on, Brenda, look at him. He's a big boy. Melvin, it's totally irresponsible. What if something happened? Like what? Brenda? Melvin. Okay, we'll be at the Hacienda. We'll be at the Hacienda Lounge. Write that down for him. Does he have the number, I'm right? giving him the number, darling. I want you to brush your teeth, young man. Okay, here's the number, the police and, and the fire department. lights out by 8.30. Oh, my big, big boy. Boy, oh. So how do I look? Swell, let's go. Swell, that's romantic. Oh, you're so brave. Honey. Make sure you put that chain up, okay? Have a good time. Household salt. Department. Are your parents in Half Pint? Uh, yeah, they're in. Uh, in the shower. Both of them? Uh, uh, they're, um, they're saving water. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, I got a call to uh, check the plumbing, see? Did you say Leonard apartment? Oh, that's next door. Why didn't you say so? Jeez. Yeah? You go to hell. And back. OK. Oh, so good. Uh, and pull your hair like that girl at the supermarket, will you? I don't believe it. Five minutes. You can go what? five minutes without mentioning what? some what? other girl. Frankly, Baby, come let me on. I'm only fed up with it. I'm All I ask from you is a little head. respect. Come on, you love me. You mitts off me, 
a big egg and fried to the gill. Since when did you take the pledge? Well, at least I can hold my liquor. Yeah? You lit up like Main Street. Oh, Main Street. Is that where you go sniffing after your two-bed hookers? Oh. Yeah, when I got me one right here. You chiseling little punk. There you go. Ah! Oh, gee! You try that again in your history. Oh, go jump, you little jerk. Just where do you think you're going? Any place away from you, you creep. Oh, yeah? I think I can, doll face. I stop you, you'll stay stopped. Come here, you. Hey, come here, you. Hey, you know what's good for you? You'll hand over that suitcase right now. Get away from me. You're not going anywhere. Oh, give me this. No, give me this. Stop me, huh? Don't you dare. I'm running out of me. Don't you dare. 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 Don't you on a howl. Let me turn up the damn radio. We got names in case you I don't give a flying fandango about any name. I just you all over. Game in town, and that's the voice of experience. I'm Sam, the man sitting on the end of the love line. The night is young, it's lonely in here, so call me. Maybe you want to say, you're the one for me. Or maybe I'm so sorry, babe, just give me one more chance. Right now, here's a message you from Ritzy me Rita to Bronco Billy ha, saying, I'm so <laughs> sad tonight, but I know we'll be together soon. Hello, Sam? No. No, I have to talk to Sam. Please, it's a matter of life and death. It's garbage. Listen, lady, you want to play house with the pelvis, you go ahead. But I play music, and music, it ain't. Now, Sam the man on the love line till dawn. Now, who's in love? Uh, they're fighting, Sam. Tell me news, not history. It's bad. It's very bad. It's... You got a request, just spell it out, long as it ain't into that itchy, twitchy, rock and rolly stuff. I don't know. Something nice. Uh, they'll kill each other. Hey, 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 hey. Hold the bone. How old are you, son? I'm nine. Almost ten. It's your parents. They're spatting. Am I right? Uh, yeah. That's right. My mom and dad. Annie and Lemuel Harger. You got a will? Yeah. Annie and Lemuel Harger. Listen, you're a good kid. You just hang tough now, because old Sam is going to take care of everything. Swell. OK, thanks. Mr. Glee, Steve Terrell. Yeah, folks, there's a lot of tears in this world and a lot of heartaches. You know how it goes. You get to fighting with your sweetie pie over nothing at all. And then things, they just get out of hands. You can't see anything. Well, Mommy, <laughs> listen. That got me thinking. It's us. Well, I want to tell you something. You wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for self-respect and foolish pride. Ain't that the truth? Swallow that self-respect. Bury that pride and do it now, you hear? Time to make up, you spat lovers out there. You know you care, you know your love's <sighs> blind. Yeah. Jeez, I'm muffin up. I'm sorry. And here's a very, very special request. Give us a wet one, eh? It's a five key singing just for you, out of sight, out of mind. Oh, yeah. Oh. This goes from the mule Harger to his one and only darling wife, Annie. Out of sight. Annie, what? 
And Mabel, I... <laughs> Mabel, just, just, just wait a minute. You. Honey, you. honey, you. honey you. muffin. You. Mabel, you. Mabel, no, 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 Mabel, no! Mabel, no! Mabel, sweet. I, I'm trying to figure it out. Just wait a minute, Mabel. There's got to be something. Along, and all the time, you're making lovey-dovey with your wife. I just don't get it. Oh, fool. Honey, baby, you, you gotta listen don't to me. Don't honey, baby, me, you weasel. I'm telling you, Mabel, I didn't send no message. It's gotta be another Annie and Lemuel Harga. I mean, it's gotta be. You must think I'm nuts. I know it sounds screwy, but yeah, I'm telling you. I'm the one that's screwy. Screwy, dizzy, and just plain dumb. Listen to me, Mabel. I... Don't touch me, you worm. Just calm down, will you? Lemmy? I'm right here, huh? Your wife wants you? She can have you. Don't get tough, Mabel. Only you're not gonna look so great. Whoa! What did you... Just calm down, Mabel. You going somewhere, Lemuel? Anywhere you want me to go, baby. Anywhere you want, but just don't shoot, Mabel. You're going straight to hell. Oh. In her hand. Mabel, don't shoot, baby. Just... Oh, my God. Pray and sweat. I'm sweating. I'm sweating, baby. No. 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 Operator? Yeah, get me the police. You know what happens to squealers, don't you? Uh, I think so. Please, don't shoot me. <gasps> Who am I kidding? I may be rotten, but... God, I don't torch kids. Oh, my Lord. The blue boys. Here, huh? You won't be sorry. Let's check this door. And if you button your lip, there's more where that came from. What do you say, please? Come on, huh? Here, he's over here. What's the procedure on this one? Come on. Evening, son. Parents home? You got a call that there was some shots fired here. You know anything about that? It wasn't me, sir. <laughs> I guess not. But did you hear anything? Uh, no. But I would have, because the walls are real thin here. Do you mind if uh, we take a peek? No. They said the call came in from some kid. You know anything about it? Kid? Uh, all officers, what, what's going on? Good evening, sir. We got a call about some alleged shooting. It's funny, I, I, I didn't hear a peep. You hear anything, kid? Uh, 
You live here alone, sir? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, well, um, my wife's out. She went, she, she went away. She's, uh, you know, visiting relatives. You all right, sir? Huh? Oh, this, this is... I was just... It's a scratch, that's all, officer. I mean, it's... I'm fine. Uh-huh. Sounds yeah, like uh, just some prank call, huh, kid? It's not that, honey. Let me look at you. So I did what he said. I swallowed my self-respect, and here I am. <laughs> not in the hallway, mommy. Why do you all swing? Don't look at this place, man. It's great, eh? It's kind of strange, but murder one, it ain't. Oh, I'll drop blood. What happened to you? Keep the chain up, huh? Yes, sir. is clear. Thanks, kid. Listen, do you want your... Oh, no, 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 no. You keep it. First, I want to say something personal. Tonight, I told a couple in a fight that they should swallow their pride. Give a little. Learn to go halfway. Well, now, <laughs> that got me thinking. Sure, it's easy to give out advice, but when it comes to falling it yourself, now, ho, 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 then it gets hard. Should I get him undressed? No, no, no. our traffic and this rocket and rickety noise it's on the range these days but it's been climbing the charts and well they're making a fool out of me you get older and you slow down well now i'm gonna bury my pride and dedicate this platter to all of you and to a very very special nine-year-old boy in the night Here's the motion commotion, Mr. Elvis Presley with Baby, let's play house. Come back, baby. I want to play house with you. Well, you may go to college, or you may go to school, or you may have. 